welcome back students of second year uh we were doing the poem enterprise we've done the first three stanzas of the poem and today i shall be doing the rest of the poem with you uh that is line number 16 uh now in the first half of the poem i had explained to you how the uh the group of people have set out on the journey there's a level of excitement they're looking forward to the journey but uh halfway through you can see that there is a certain you know difficulty certain problems have started arising and uh, it has you know even led to one of the persons leaving the group and parting uh, way so uh, from line number 16 i am quickly reading the five lines of that stanza another phase was reached when we were twice attacked and lost our way a section claimed its liberty to leave the group i tried to pray our leader said he smelt the sea so uh now from the third paragraph where you know a hint of friction had been given to us you can see in the fourth paragraph that disruption has come to its full swing you can Uh, see that uh, the language that the poem uh, the poet is using or the way he is expressing himself it shows very clearly that now there is a kind of strife there is a kind of dissatisfaction there is a kind of uh, you know um, unhappiness amongst the group of travelers so uh, uh, as i had told you in the first part that the journey has been divided into stages here also you can see that the next phase of the journey is being described uh, which where the poet says that we reached at a certain point where we were twice attacked now he is not given a very clear view as to who attacked that is not clear we have to just you know imagine or we have to just you know um, fall back upon our ideas about how travelers were sometimes attacked by bandits okay or decoits something like that so he says on that journey we were attacked twice and we also lost our way like uh now during the present times we have the help of google maps we have uh, internet we have you know very definite defined travel plans we have uh, access to uh, the roadways the railways to the airways so our journeys are pretty comfortable but if you compare to the olden times when the navigation was very difficult people were traveling far distances on their foot okay they had to travel by foot so there all these things were a common happening when they were traveling from say one village to the other or maybe one city to the other they were traveling by foot and there was always the danger maybe there were forests on the way there was a desert for example in this journey a desert has been talked about so uh, maybe there were waterways maybe there rivers that had to be crossed so here also he says that we lost our way and also we were attacked twice so the happiness the excitement that could you know we could perceive in the beginning of the journey that all has given way to certain uncertainty it has given given way to some disruptions to some factions so he says a section claimed its liberty so there is the group of people who had set out as one group now you can see halfway through the journey the group is becoming divided the people one section of the people they wanted to free themselves they claimed their liberty means that you know one group of people said we don't want to travel with you we are going to travel our own way and they decided to free themselves they decided to leave the group and what he says i tried to pray so here the personal pronoun that is being used here i this indicates that the poet could see what was happening and he decided to pray to the higher authorities or you can say that he decided to pray to god that things should be set right that the traveling should become easier and this kind of division this kind of break away should not take place so he says that why why will you lose your way because maybe they were attacked and uh, when they were attacked the people you know to save their lives they ran helter skelter and as a result they got lost 
they got you know separated from the group and a certain unhappiness you know set inside a kind of dissatisfaction a kind of you know fear that seemed to set in amongst the group and finally one set of people decided to leave they decided to part the way and our leader said that he smelt the sea now this line uh here again uh the imagery that has been used is of the sea and i smelt the sea means that it is not the sea actually that the uh, leader could smell the head of the group could smell but what is this this indicates the breeze maybe that you know when water is nearby you can get a certain smell of that water so the head of the group the leader of the group he said that maybe our destination is nearby and because i can smell the sea breeze i can smell the uh, you know water and from here we as readers conclude that this pilgrimage was somewhere near the sea side maybe where because in the initial way when they have uh, decided to set up on the pilgrimage when they have decided to set up on the journey it has not been cleared as to what their destination is till now the destination has not been discussed it has not been stated anywhere in any of the lines but this particular line gives us a hint that perhaps this pilgrimage site was somewhere near the sea so there is a kind of hope the leader of the group you know maybe trying to say that we should stay together because the end of the journey is near it is at hand so why do we part ways now let us stick together we have till here till now we have remained together so why should we you know part now but you can see as i have mentioned earlier in the last uh, lecture that people are always you know different from one another their way of thinking is different and therefore it is very difficult to keep them together and the same thing is being highlighted here because one group of people finally they refuse to stay under his leadership and they decide to go away please understand this can also mean like for example there is a head of the family he wants the family to stay together you know you have your uncles and you have your aunts everybody their separate you know their individual families they all stay together like you have a joint family but sometimes in a joint family certain couples or certain group of people they are not happy they want to go their own way they want to have a separate home they want to have a separate unit so what happens maybe the grandfather or maybe the grandmother they want everybody to stay together but it is not always possible and if there is a fight all the time if there is you know unhappiness in the family finally they give way and they allow you know maybe the eldest brother wants to you know set up his own home or maybe the youngest brother wants to leave and set up his own home with his own wife and children so sometimes you know they this kind of a situation is created and it's a common happening so maybe that is what the poet is referring here that the family's head tries to keep everybody together but it is not always possible okay then moving on to line number 21 we noticed nothing as we went a struggling crowd of little hope ignoring what the thunder meant deprived of common needs like soap some were broken some merely bent now you see the tone of the poem is completely changed in this fifth paragraph and the words that have been used here now the poet is commenting and the poet says that uh now this is an example of enjambment i have given you this technical term in the first introductory uh, uh, lecture of mine please note here now this line our leader said he smelled the sea is connected to the next line we noticed nothing as we went now this is enjambment because the last line of the fourth paragraph will make sense only if you read the first line of the fifth paragraph in continuation now what was the leader of the group saying that the journey is about to come to an end we are going to reach the destination very soon because he could smell the sea breeze but in the next very line what do we read that the group was not happy 
the group was not satisfied with this explanation and they believe that they are not near the destination at all because they could not smell the sea breeze so they realize that the leader is trying to give them false hope the destination is not anywhere near and he is just trying to give them false hope so that the group does not break so that there is no division but very clearly the poet says that there was no hope a struggling crowd of little hope struggling struggling means there is you know they are motiveless it is now this journey has become more of a ritualistic journey the hope is dissipated the happiness is gone the people are divided and they feel aimless they feel hopeless the group as a whole has become aimless and hopeless they are no longer together too much of differences have cropped up they ignored what the thunder meant thunder meant that can be you know if they divide like thunder again it can have two meanings one meaning can be that when you are together you are more powerful and when you decide to go your separate way then you become weaker so people are unaware that if you become divided into smaller groups then it will be more difficult to face any danger that may befall on the journey when you are together you are strong you can face any adversity you can face any problem right but here first meaning can be this and the other meaning can be your inner voice that what your inner voice dictates jo inner conscious what we call the inner conscious that the people were ignoring they had become too divided they had become aimless they had become confused and they were not listening to their own inner voice deprived of common needs like soap now this is like a very trivial thing now again this can have a double meaning firstly it can mean that the poet is you know kind of uh i would not say humor but the poet is being satirical he's being sarcastic that even the smallest needs were not fulfilled at that particular point of time at that particular point of journey point of time in that journey there were certain things that were missing and there were such trivial things like a soap you know now now not having a soap is a very small thing on one hand it can mean that people were fighting because of such trivial things on the other hand it can mean that the journey had become so difficult that even such simple things were not available available to them these can be the two meanings of this okay so deprived of common needs like soap some were broken some were merely bent so now towards the end of the journey the people are physically drained okay whatever they had when initially they had set out on the journey you know the rations were full uh they had everything you know they were carrying everything in enough of everything but towards the end of the journey things do get over you know they get used up in the journey so all the resources get depleted so here he thinks by the end of the journey even simple things like a soap were not available and the people were tired they were tired of traveling some were broken that is some had completely given in their spirits were broken some were merely bent bent that they had you know kind of the weight of the journey had bowed them down so the weaker people they were completely broken but the stronger people they were a bit better you know they were tired no doubt but they were better than the others they could fare better they could handle the problems better they could handle the difficulties in a better manner maybe because they were physically more equipped maybe because they were mentally more equipped maybe because they were emotionally more equipped so they could handle all the difficulties of the journey a bit better than the others so you can see that the a very serious tone has set in here a very serious a very somber kind of an atmosphere has been created by this point of time towards the end of the journey then the last five lines please take note i'll just line number 26 here when finally we reached the place we hardly know why we were there the trip had darkened every face 
our deeds were neither great nor rare home is where we have to gather grace now see this last paragraph is a complete inversion of the first the tone has changed the idea has changed the understanding has changed and what is the poet saying when finally we reach the place final destination whatever it was even up till now we don't know what the destination is but apparently the group of people they have reached the final destination so the poet says when finally we reach the destination we hardly knew why we were there now this is an extremely important line what is being conveyed here the fruitlessness the uselessness of the journey because people realized that there was nothing extraordinary when they finally reached the destination it was nothing extraordinary the aim was lost the initial excitement the initial looking forward to this journey to this destination when they finally reach here they realize it is nothing special there was no need for this kind of you know division there was no need for this kind of faction there was no need to you know tire themselves out so much because this place was nothing special it was nothing different it was nothing new and what what does he say that we hardly knew why we were there the aim is lost what was the need that is the question that is striking their minds the trip had darkened every phase darkened every phase everybody had become you know the complexion has darkened because again two meanings the first is the apparent meaning that this complexion the skin had become dark because of the sun the harsh rays of the sun the extreme weather conditions the difficulties had you know started showing on their face the skin had become darkened their physical appearance had become withered and the other thing can mean that all that trouble all that pain all those difficulties they had broken their spirit they had become tired they were disappointed they were unhappy okay this is what this meaning a meaning of this line is then our deeds were neither great nor rare even this line is very important please understand deeds whatever they did this journey whatever effort they put into it that was neither great great means it was not worth the effort it was nothing it was nothing extraordinary it was nothing different and neither was it rare 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 is something which is you know which is not common which is not commonly available which is something uh, you know obtained with great difficulty which is found in very few places that is what rare means but here they realize that many many people had reached this destination before them many many people have traveled this have embarked upon this journey before them there were many people who have visited this place before them so it was nothing extraordinary they had not achieved something different they had not achieved something rare they had not achieved something exclusive it was something which had been done by many people many times before them so that excitement that concept of exclusivity all of it disappeared it was a sheer waste that is the feeling that these people have when they reach the end of their journey and the last line is extremely important please understand this home is where we have to gather grace very important finally these people realize that when they reached the destination they realized that there was no need for this journey they should have stayed back at home because if you are at home if you take care of the people around you if you earn their love and respect then that is enough to have a happy and meaningful life you do not have to venture out any where are you know you don't have to go out looking for respect you have to find it within your own surroundings within your own home so for that you don't need to go out on a pilgrimage to fulfill your spiritual needs because god resides inside our own hearts 
सो वी हैव टू लिसन टू आर इनर सेल्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अटेन पीस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अटेन समथिंग ग्रेट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अटेन रिस्पेक्ट वी हैव टू फर्स्ट लुक इन साइड आर सेल्स दिस इज वॉट द पोइट इज ट्राइंग टू से इन दिस लास्ट लाइन एंड the uh, there are many critics who feel that this poem is basically you know why nisim isical wrote this poem was because he is himself trying to search for a meaning of life's journey why do we live that life that we have been granted that has been metaphorically you know it has been called a journey from birth to death this is what the poet is trying to you know uh, uh, look a meaning into that what is this journey what is this life all about because our life also when we set out our life also begin with high expectations we are excited when we are young we are you know ready to go on adventures we are ready to take chances and we are always you know we live in a kind of a dream but very often it happens that we you know get diverted our aim you know we lose our aim we become confused and when we have to face very tough challenges and uh, before we reach the last days stage of our life and we realize that we have not achieved much then we become you know despondent we become unhappy it breaks our spirit this is what the poet is trying to say that many a times it happens that we set out you know with our lives we think that we are going to great, achieve great heights but when we are not able to do that we become broken our spirits break okay so this is you know these are the different meanings that can be read into it um also there are uh, you know there are certain critics who have you know uh, said that this poem is all about a modern man's inability to know clearly uh, what his aim or what his destiny destination is because many a times it happens that we remain confused we don't know what we want to achieve we don't know what our ultimate goal is we don't know what our ultimate destiny is so that confusion can also make the journey unhappy unfulfilled and lastly when you are unable to fulfill your dreams then sometimes or very often i would say that you become frustrated and therefore by the end we feel that uh, we have not been able to achieve that grandness we have not been achieved been able to achieve that greatness that we had dreamt about that we had hoped for okay so you can see that the uh, poem has not used uh many difficult words and uh, the poem is also not uh talking about uh, the language that has been used is uh, uh, uh nothing very obscure it's basic english that has been used the words are very simple and the ideas also that the poet has you know uh, made use of are very common place uh but through the metaphor of a journey through the metaphor of a pilgrimage he is trying to convey something deeper he is trying to talk about something serious and that is our life itself how we traverse through it what problems we can face how we conquer them how we come above all the difficulties and ultimately what do we get do we achieve happiness do we achieve satisfaction or do we remain unfulfilled so that is uh, you know for each person it can be different for each individual it can be different and as far as nisim isical is concerned he feels that we don't need to go out anywhere we have to just look within ourselves for spirituality we have to within look look within ourselves for god that energy resides in our own selves that respect that grandness that we want to you know find outside that we should try to trace within our own selves that would be far better than setting out on a journey which might just lead to frustration and unhappiness 
so uh, the poem is quite philosophical and you can see uh, from uh, please uh, go through both the parts uh, together listen to both the lectures together then you will be able to understand the poem in its entirety and you can also make out why i have done it in two parts because the first part is different and the second half is very different and how the poem ends is completely unexpected it's a complete change from uh, the first line itself how you know it moves how it starts that excitement that happiness it gives way to something far deeper it ends on a different note altogether so uh, the poem is quite serious uh, and the subject matter also i would say is quite profound and i hope i have been able to help you out and things are clear and also i would just request you to read the poem a couple of times um, uh, a quick reading and a slow reading both are required to get the you know firstly the form to catch the form rhyme scheme etc uh, and secondly why a slow reading so that you can understand what the poet is actually trying to say the inner meaning is also clear so i wish you all the best once again and um, tomorrow i shall be doing the next poem that is the night of the scorpion till then please stay safe take care i'll see you again soon bye bye